everybody, good buddy Q here with. Ah, uh, Mike is too close. Hello, everybody, good buddy Q here with. Dignified. Lobo. Last we left off. Ah, oh, my mic was on the screen. Um, Mosey is dead. And Kugel's. Not Kugel. God, I am off the wall. A lot of things happened. We're all shaken. Mostly Sealand. Mostly Sealand. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting. Hot and. And Saborg are probably just watching him comment and stare blankly. I should bring this with me so we can power him up whenever we find the generator. Call it up. Good boy. I wonder if we could use these as weapons. But I don't think anything can help us now. Despite everything, it's still me. I almost said nice Homestuck reference, but that's the wrong thing. That's not Homestuck. That's not a Homestuck at all. These are fake flowers. Safety really didn't really matter. Nothing interesting. He's dead inside. I want to go home. How about them? We have better things to do than to look at a flower. You, you know, um, things might not be so bad, um, we're nation kind, we'll, um, we can just come back after a few hours, and we can all go home, and this whole nightmare with Sonaria will be all over with. How can you come back if there's no body? You reform. It just happens. Hmm. That's happened to me before. I don't want to look in there. I don't want to think about the possibility of new meat in there. I don't really have that much of an appetite. The stove is still warm. I bet Y would have liked it. I don't really okay have that much of an appetite. I wonder if I'll ever get to see the sunrise again. Oh, bambino. Who cares? I, I, um, I... I wish I was old enough to have a drink right now, because I sure as hell need one. The baby swore! <laughs> That's you, how you, you know he's really over the edge. You know what, um... I think, in this case, maybe we could give you a glass of wine just to take the edge off. No, thank you. Are you sure? Yes. Alright, kiddo. I think there's something in the oven. Kugel and Mr. Rush are making these. I thought he said they couldn't finish the recipe. Hmm. Looks half baked to me. Probably were only done halfway when the power went out. Would they be safe to eat? Well, I mean, maybe we could put them over the fireplace. It'd be fun, like roasting marshmallows. Won't that be fun, Sealand? Hmm. We should probably grab some plates, then. They should work, I think. Huh? A key! Oh, good find, Bambino. We'll look more into it after we eat. To the fireplace! Yes. Whoosh. <sighs> it's almost too quiet. I don't like it, but it's not really much to say. Mm, I think they look done. Let's have a taste. Hmm. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. It's tasty, I guess. I, uh, I think so too. If we had some marinara sauce, this would be even better. I mean, you gotta eat what you have, what you need to, to survive, you know. And uh, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. 
How do you know? This is kind of... I know you're not okay, kid. Are you feeling better, at least? Hmm. Sad. Yeah? Let the kid breathe a little. Uh, see. Sad? Uh, yes? Are you okay? <laughs> of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? You sure? Mm-hmm. I'm sure we'll find our way out soon, and these are pretty tasty. What's there not to be happy about? I mean, aside from the obvious. Press X to doubt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm full. Same. Hmm. We have a lot left over. We can probably hang on to uh, some of these uh, snacks. <laughs> At least now we can see where the uh, where these other keys go to. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Progies. Bada bing, bada ba duke, I'm running here. <laughs> He's just popping them in his mouth like popcorn as they walk. Handing out oxycodone like Valentine's candies. Tick tock on the clock. If he, okay, let's be honest here. If they were handing out oxycodone or cotton, Seelan wouldn't be so glum. <laughs> yeah, no, he'd be chilled as fuck. They'd just be laying on the floor. What if we're all destined for oblivion? <laughs> There's a statue of a lady underneath this cloth. Looks neat. I know who that is. That's Saint Sophia. Saint Sophia? Mm hmm. She's part of the Orthodox Church. Guess we know what were his religious ties were. A baby cradle? That's really weird. This thing in his fake, right? <laughs> ah! Hello! A pile of handmade sweaters. Were these gifts? Or maybe ones that don't fit him anymore? They're all kind of small. It's a couch! What more can I say? Food does brighten up everybody's attitude. Endorphins? These look a lot more... These look like more letters. But they're splattered with wine. They're all basically ruined anyway. I wonder why he keeps them then. Sentimental value, most likely. I guess. Huh? Hmm? What's this? A dictionary? A translating dictionary. Just what we need. Is it up to date with modern language, though? It's in the attic, so who knows how old it is. We could test it out. Let's try to find out what this crab key actually says. So that's not a C at all. It spells S-K-L-A-D. What's that mean? Hmm. Stock. Like storage. So I guess this is at least... So I guess this has at least enough for us to get basics. This will come in handy. Sorry. No worries. How come this cross statue thingy has an extra line in it? Don't crosses only have one line in it? Depends on their religion. Well, actually, I've learned quite a lot about other kinds thanks to my brothers. This one in particular I think is an orthodox cross. Oh, that's so cool! Couch. Whoa! What a big stug! Did Mr. Russia hunt this himself? Hey Seb, what does the wording on the plaque say? Let's find out. Uncle Vanya. He murdered his uncle? I, I, I don't think so. I, I think he's just making a joke. Or it was from or to him. Dark. Besides, I don't think a deer can be an uncle. 
Not with that attitude. Not with that attitude. That's some stale ass bread. Oh, it's, it's sealant language. Sorry, I just remembered Melusia saying that once. He's a bad influence on the baby. I wonder what these are. Looks like letters to me. Wait, we have the translation book. We can maybe see what these are. If you think you can figure out a way to read that chicken scratch, you are more of, you are more than free to try. I think I will. At least with this one on top will give us a good idea. I have the basics and can probably paraphrase the rest. It's, uh, interesting. Is it something bad? Depends on how you look at it. Francis, my lovely piece of son. I cannot thank you enough for the tour of your home the other week. My cheeks are still tingling. My hand still feels warm from yours, your mine. My jelly knees have not quite recovered as, as of yet as well, I must admit. I implore you that you can come over in the coming summer months. I have much to show you. I would be honored for you to taste my cooking for once. I await your reply with bated breath. Your obedient servant, Ivan Braganov. That's weird. Is it his human last name something else? Well, never know what was correct for our surnames at the time this was written. Well, I hope France got to hang out with him. It sounded like they were best friends. No wonder they're so close nowadays. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. You're sweet, Bambino. Lots of numbers on, on most of these papers. Probably money receipts or the like. You should probably speak up a little, boo-boo. I'll try. I'm sorry. It's it's okay. There's really no good wear for the yeah microphone to be with three people. Mm -hmm. We don't have time to look through all these. You're right. I think that's everything. Let's go, fam. Uh, da, 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 this way. Hello. Oh. Oh. Ew! A bulges ripper! <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's what I heard England call these! I think they're a bodice that rips out ribs of ladies to make them look thinner! He likes to study them! Uh, does, does he? He sure seems like the type to read them. <laughs> Let's just keep looking around. Gently steers him away. Whee! I may not know much of these word things, but these look like gardening magazines. Guess this blizzard might keep these on the rack for a bit longer. It's like two large cereal bowls. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what it actually is when you're older. I'm over 42 years old. I know what a bra is, Seb. <laughs> but I can't... I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Fashion magazines. Looks like the summer collection's been released. How nice. The, these ones are in Hungarian. I wonder why they'd be here. A hint. This is a strange chat. I'll say. A fedora of all things, dyed purple and put with a white ball. Smells different though. Maybe it was someone else's first. She stole it. Hello! Oh wow. Silent now! Yes, yes, we need to step away from the nice, lacy, silky bits. Oi, not you too. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Why did you have to be like this? Ah, looks like somebody is getting ready for a date. How do you know? Call it a romantic intuition. Looks like someone needs to tidy their room a bit more. Seems more like they were in a hurry to find something. 
This garment is lovely. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this was a wedding dress of some sort. Actually, it looks like one, all right. If I had to guess by the age of the fabric and the type of embroidery, I'd say around 600 years old. Gosh, Seb, you sure know a lot about fashion. Uh, helps to be related to one of the fashion capitals of the world, I suppose. Though I'm still curious what this is doing here, in such good condition at that. He's just squinting. This is a very pretty floral pattern. <laughs> hmm. The owner of these clothes sure does have good taste. You know, wedding dresses didn't come in white until the Queen Victoria made it popular. Huh. Like, that, that sounds familiar. I feel like I've run into that fact at some point in my life. Before then, it was just your best dress or the, like, a, a color that suited you the best, if you mm. could afford it. Mm -hmm. Neat. So many presents! Is it somebody's birthday? Or perhaps tokens of affection from a suitor. From the looks of the tags, looks like it's from many, many suitors. <sighs> God, I wish that were me. Don't be sad! I'll be a suitor if you want! Whatever that is! Keep trying, kiddo. That's okay, buddy. Thanks anyway. You're not my type. I like them adults. What? <laughs> ah, delightful. It smells like chamomile, vanilla, and cornflowers. I might have to find a tea of this later. Hey. You could figure that out just by smelling it? Amazing! Thank you kindly. It's a quirk. <laughs> it's a list of dates. Read it. Yeah. Days to remember. Christmas. Women's Day. Kapala Night. Canada's birthday. Leeks' birthday. Ukraine's birthday. Belarus's birthday. Russia's birthday. Day of it. Ah. A wig. I wonder who it's for. Maybe they're getting ready for Halloween! I don't think they celebrate that here. Plus it's May. I actually got told a fun fact about that by Max of the Russians don't really do much of the, you know, Halloween stuff, but they do adopt the costume party aspect of it. So they mostly find reasons to get together, wear costumes, and like eat sweets and stuff like that. Not much of the trick-or-treating portion. Mm -hmm. And that's like... Just if they want. Usually it's- mostly it's the youth who do it, more than like the adults and stuff. Oh, kind of like- like- it isn't- isn't it sort of that way in England where it's mostly a kid thing? Hmm. I think it's more like teenagers and young adults. Okay. Oh, oh it's the same thing. My bad. Nyan, nyan, nyan. Gandalism? Well, I wish we had a match. This one smells like the ocean, and this one smells like vanilla. Oh, and this one smells like flowers. If we did like them, it'd probably only be one at a time. That sounds like a sensory disaster if it was all at once. Note says, my birthday. Oh. Who do you think this room belongs to? Uh, well, I mean, the, like, the bra is the biggest hint, isn't it? Yeah. Now the thing is actually remembering the number, so hopefully you do. I hope I did. 24th of August. Yeah! yeah! That was it! Let's see if this will be useful. Uh, a helmet? It's really heavy. Hold on a sec! Isn't that General Winter's hat? Is it really? Well, it's gold and it looks like an olden day general's hat. Spike up here is bent, so he might have rammed into something hard, like in the story. And it's a, in a safe! Russia said he was hiding it away from him! I wonder if I can bend this back up straight. Uh, oh! You broke it! It was an accident! To be fair, he kinda deserves it. It's because of him we're in this mess. But he might get more mad! 
more mad than sending Russia after us? I... Uh, uh, hmm. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure we can explain it was an accident. That's next. But who knows? This spike is pretty small, so maybe we can reach for things that the knife couldn't. Good point. Let's look around to see if there's anything we missed. Well, let's go! Let's Here go. we go! <laughs> Fucking Peter Pan. <laughs> it's a good ride. Not it a, is. like, 70-minute wait good ride, but a good ride. In, uh, Disney World, they have a fast pass for it. Yeah. Is there anything here? Nah, okay. But this thing. Hi! Hold on! Yes? I think I see something in this vent here! Hmm? I think I see it too. Is it a key? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> yeah! Mmm. Mmm. My hand's too big! Can I see the knife? Careful with it. The handle part's too big! Oh, what? What if we use the spike from the helmet? Would it fit? Yeah, but it's not long enough. Hmm. Here. You can use my cake chain. If you wrap it around the end, it should work. <gasps> Thank you! But how can you pick it up? Hmm. Maybe there's something we have all ready to help. What about the pierogies? He's got one like halfway to his face. <laughs> uh, uh, ha, ha, so! Put that down. Maybe we could smoosh the potato stuff on the edges so it could be sticky. It's worth a shot. Goodbye. You can eat, you can lick it off after if you want. Got it! Man, I've got a few more. Nice. I'm most proud of drawing this one. And let's see. The tag says Belarus. Not what we need, but it might help. Yeah, let's go! Here we go, Belarus. Here we go. Thank you. My arms are busy. Erf. <laughs> Here we go, fam. Here we go. Oof. Oof. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It, is it just me? Or is it suddenly really, really cold? Yeah, no, I feel it too. Mm. Is... is that... Is it footsteps? Boots? The general? Oh, that's right! We have his heart! Maybe he realized we have it now! Uh-oh. More of a reason to keep going. You coming? Seb? I, I, I can't do this anymore. What? Baby. I, I, I just... I just can't keep running like this anymore. He bro I broke it. He's going to be mad at us. I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like you said, it was an accident. If we don't go now, we'll catch us sooner. Not. I'm just gonna keep slowing you guys down more and making it worse. I I need to take responsibility. I should have said something when Malosi was yelling at Kugel. I should have said something before that. I should have stayed with why. I keep messing up. Runs in the family, I guess. Even if you do nothing, you are not guilty. You're not innocent yeah it's like even if you've done nothing you've done nothing it's like uh, anti-bully message uh, it, uh, hey that, that, that's not true 
<laughs> you, you've been the one driving us this whole time. That's all I can really do, though, is pretend to be happy. I can't... <laughs> I can't do that anymore. I'm not strong like my brothers. I'm not as fast or as happy as them either. I, I just can't keep doing this. I don't know how they do it. Say. But I'm going to fix it. I'm going to give his hat back. And maybe he'll call Russia off and be merciful. He might even stop the blizzard. Would it? Wouldn't that be nice? Say no! It's okay, Bambino. You still have hot. He is an actual big brother. I'm just the baby of my group. Oh, I'm not big brother material. How, how could I be when I let my own little sister? I believe in you both. The both of you. Find the generator and call for help. I'm sorry for not helping sooner. If nothing changes in the next five minutes, you know what that means. See ya, Amici. Sam! Come on, let's go how we can. <laughs> Sam! So Borka told us to wait. I should look around. Well! That sure diddly darn happened. Yes. Uh, sh sh should we should we save or? We have a couple of minutes before we can save. Okay. Well, we we'll should see. Is this a real skull? For this, it's a little rude to use it as a paperweight. Oh wait, it's just ceramic. It is just a paperweight. Phew. I wish I had a match or something. It come in handy for these candles. Do they smell kind of like the funny grass Iceland's bird has sometimes? Maybe it's a good thing I don't like these. <laughs> Belarus tokes up. Some random pages written in chicken scratch? Or because of Russian, they look about the same. Has some magic symbols on it that remind me of some of Uncle Norway's drawings. I see these around when Uncle Degmar comes to visit. Maybe she's making something go away. Maybe to whatever tore up those rabbits. These rabbits! Poor rabbits. I wonder what they're doing here. Ugh! They smell like pepper spray! Maybe that's part of whatever's going on. Maybe exercising them or something. Is this the same flower that's in the painting in the hallway downstairs? Maybe she was the one who painted it. That's so nice. Knife. I'm almost tempted to ask Hot to grab some for me to use, but I don't think he could reach. Not to mention to probably squish the flower too. Hey Hot, how come these candles aren't actually giving off any light? They look... on. They're plastic. It's one of those fake candles, but the batteries must have run out. Well? If she can't get the flames of hell for a ritual, well, I suppose store-bought's fine. Spooky! Books about flowers, I think. Some of these have skull and crossbones on them, so maybe not? They're poisonous, kiddo. Oof. But yes, no! There's only two left. But now, we can skiddly doop Yes. So next time, we get to see if we can make it out with Hut. Big brother. Big brother. Brother big. Yes. Brother bear. Fancy big brother. Yes. I'm your new sister now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's it for us. So have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.